Okay, electromagnetic inductions, and let's see. Uh, Fleming's right hand rule. Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy. Now, why do we say this? Uh, this is also this is also important. Uh, okay, you must know this. Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy. Let's see this uh, example. Uh. So, if we have a magnetic field, it's a north. Uh, this is the south pole, okay, and then we have a conductor. We have a conductor, and then so we move this conductor down to cut the magnetic field. Eh? Now, when we move this conductor down to cut the magnetic field, what's the energy involved? When we move this this uh, conductor, straight conductor downwards, what's the what's the energy possessed by this conductor? Energy. What kinds of energy? Like a uh, potentials energy, uh, kinetic energies, or heat energies, or what? Okay. If you move this uh this uh, conductor downwards, the energy involved is the kinetic energy. Yes. Okay. Kinetic energy. When we uh, use this use this conductor to cut the magnetic field, okay, then uh, we learn that. Electric currents is induced. Okay, means electric current is produced. Huh? So when electric currents produce, the the energy is converted to what? From kinetic energy to what? To electrical energy. That's correct. To electrical energy. Eh? Because energy cannot come from nowhere. Okay, it, it can only convert from one form to another form. Eh? If kinetic energy converted to electrical energy so the kinetic energy must reduce right it must become less kinetic energy yeah? so less kinetic energy means that this conductor must be slowed down this conductor must be slowed down eh? because the kinetic energy must reduce eh, when the electrical energy increase okay the kinetic energy is converted into electrical energy yeah? and that's why we say it eh, like Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy because Lane's law says that if this conductor cut the magnetic field, eh, okay, the current will flow in the directions to oppose this motion. To oppose this motion means that to slow it down, to slow down this motion. Eh? And this obeys the principles of conservation of energy because according to principles of conservation of energy, the kinetic energy must reduce. It must reduce. That means that this conductor must be slowed down. Okay. So Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy, and work is done to move the magnet against the repulsive force. Eh? Okay. So, so there, there, there's a repulsive force. Okay, to oppose the motions. Eh? So the work done is converted to electrical energy, which manifests as an induced current. So you need to know the conversions of the energy, kinetic energy and electrical energy. And you need to know uh, this Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy. Because this may be asked in exam. Eh? Because uh, they, they, usually they will give you a few statements and they ask you which, which of the following statements are true. Okay, uh, Then the, one of the statements is uh, Lane's law obeys the principles of conservation of energy. Uh, then you need to know this is true. Eh? Okay, This is true. If... Lane's law obeys principles of conservation of energy. Eh? Then the directions of the currents uh, can be determined by Fleming's right hand rule. Uh, this is different from Fleming's left hand rule. Fleming's left hand rule is used to determine the directions of the force eh? when a conductor, a current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. This one is a conductor, a conductor moved to cut the magnetic field. Okay, when it cut the magnetic field, it produces current, and the directions of the current can be determined by the Fleming's right hand rule. For Fleming's right hand rule, so the thumb shows the directions of the motions, and then the index finger shows the directions of the magnetic field, and the middle finger shows the directions of the current. And all these three these three fingers are all perpendicular, 90 degree. Okay, you can see that. Uh, this one and this one is 90 degree this one this one 90 degree okay and the middle fingers and the thumb also 90 degree yeah? okay it's a 90 degree you can see that uh, actually the angle is like it's like this and it's 90 degree okay so these three fingers uh, is that they are 90 degree 
perpendicular with each other. So now how to use this? Uh, how to use this to determine the directions of the current? Now let's see these examples. For these examples, uh, for these examples, um, we can see that uh, this rod is moving up, right? It's moving up. Uh. So it moving up means the motions. The motions is going up. And then uh, magnetic field. Magnetic field is from north to south. Yeah? North to south. So it point from north to south. Eh? So the, the, the index finger point from north to south. And therefore, the currents eh? are these directions of the current. So therefore, the current is uh, coming out. Okay, or move to the left. Eh? The current is moved because the, the finger shows that the current come out from the, the plane. Eh? Okay, so uh, the currents come out. So the currents will come out here and, okay, and then go to the galvanometers and flow back to the conductor. So that's how we use this uh, Fleming's right hand rule to determine the directions of the current. I would like you to do this example. Label the directions of the current. Okay, label the directions. Like for example, uh, you can say, oh, okay, then this is the currents. Uh, okay, currents. Okay, or uh, you think it's in the other directions, then uh, okay, then you can say, okay, go up actually. Uh, currents go up, currents come down. So use Fleming's right hand rule to find the directions of the current. Okay, now. Let's see the answer. So for this one, uh, okay, the field is from north to south. Okay, north to south, and therefore the index finger, okay, this is your right hand. The index finger is points from north to south, and the motion go downwards. Okay, so just imagine this is your right hand. So the meter, uh, the index finger point from north to south, motion downwards, and then it's the meter fingers. The meter fingers will point to this direction. Uh, so the current is go to the right. The currents go to the right. So the currents go to the right, go down here, and go up. Now sometimes uh, they may ask you the directions of the deflections of the galvanometer. Okay. Now the deflections of the galvanometer is uh, follow the directions of the current. Uh, if the current moves from uh, right to left, then it will deflect to the right. Okay. Uh, you can also draw here. Okay. It will deflect. To the right, the galvanometer is uh, the the deflections of the galvanometer follow the directions of the currents. Okay, current from right to left, it will deflect to the left. For for the second case, uh, second case. Okay, so this is your right hand. So the field is from north to south. Huh? Fields north to south, and then the motions. This is your thumb. Uh, the thumbs, the motions to the right, and therefore the currents go inside. Uh, the currents go inside. Therefore, the currents go inside and then go up again. So this is current, eh? currents denoted by the symbol I. Uh, how about this too? Tell me that the deflections of the galvanometers. It will deflect to the left or right. Okay, it will deflect to the left or deflect to the right. For this one, it will deflect to the left or right. For this one, eh, the current go in and then come out. So therefore, uh, the galvanometer deflect to the left, eh, not right. It deflect to the left. Okay, how about this one? The galvanometer deflect to the left or right? Okay. Eh? The galvanometer deflect to the right. So that's how we determine the directions of the current. Eh? Okay. And then make sure that you know this. Eh? Make sure that you know this because uh, uh, this is a frequently asked questions in exam. Okay, Finding the directions of the current eh? by using uh, Fleming's right hand rule. Comparing Fleming's right hand rule with Fleming's left hand rule. Eh? Now the Fleming's left hand rule is called the motor rule. Okay, It's called the motor rule. This one is to find the directions of the force uh, for a current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. Okay, so used to determine the directions of the force that move the wire it conducts current in a magnetic field. Uh, okay, so the magnetic field plus the current produces force. Okay, in this case, is the electrical energy produces kinetic energy. Uh, that is for Fleming's uh, left hand rule. Okay, now Fleming's right hand rule is called a generator rule. Okay, generator rule, 
and uh, that is to find the directions of the current eh, where there's a conductor uh, cutting the magnetic flux okay used to determine the directions of the induced current that flows from the wire when there is a relative motion with respect to the magnetic field um, this one is magnetic field plus the force produced current this is the magnetic field plus the current produced force eh? okay this one magnetic field plus the force produced current and we want to find the directions of the current and in uh, this is for electromagnetic inductions eh? okay inductions uh, for electromagnetic inductions where kinetic energy produces electrical energy okay this one electrical energy produces kinetic energy okay this one is currents to produce force this one is a force produced current eh? make sure that you know when to use flaming's left hand rule and when to use flaming's right hand rule eh? 